In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a pig out of a balloon. Let's get started. You're going to need one 260 balloon, inflate it to about three to four inches from the end. Let's start with the nozzle end. You're going to start with a tulip twist. It's called this because it resembles a tulip. It's kind of a specialty twist that you might use at the beginning of making a sword. You take your finger and push this inside of the balloon and then you twist right about where the tip of your finger is and you try to catch the end of the balloon. Let me show you how to do that. And there you have the pig's nose made out of a small tulip twist. Now, make a small basic twist, uh, half inch to an inch at most. Now the rest of the pig balloon actually resembles uh, a tiger or a teddy bear head that you might make out of a balloon. So let's go through that. You're gonna make a small basic twist, about an inch. Remember to hold everything. Next is a pinch twist. Another basic twist, about an inch. And one more pinch twist. Remember to hold everything so it doesn't come undone. And if you haven't held it, it will probably have popped out by now. And you'll have to redo some of these twists. Now, one more basic twist here to match the twist here. Now take these two parts here and twist them together to form the head. You'll have something that looks like this. Now, to complete the pig's head, you take the nose and you push it through the center of the head. So I'm gonna do it from my view, and then you'll see the nose emerge on the other side. So the nose goes, goes into the middle. And there you have a pig's head. Now from this point, all you have to do is pretty much make the body of a balloon dog. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this because there are some variations. So just begin with your uh, basic front legs. Make a body. Two more legs to match the front legs, two basic twists, and a lock twist. And there you have it, a basic pig. Now, of course, you can play with the proportions. I probably made the legs a little too big here. It's mainly the head that gives this pig its personality. Couple of thoughts. Number one, if you'd like a bulkier body that more closely resembles that of a pig, you can do a three balloon push through for the body. I do have to warn you though, what happens when you make a three balloon push through is that the legs tend to splay out like this. And so you might have to tie them together or if you're okay with that look, um, you can leave it that way. Also, um, when you uh, make the three balloon push through, you're gonna have to push the tail down and you might need to create a pinch twist at this point, as you would with a balloon uh, brontosaurus. One more thought is that the tail, I just often make the pig balloon just like this, and kids are really happy. Uh, you can also draw eyes on here, of course. Now, regarding the tail, I know of no way to take a balloon and make that signature pig kind of tail. The only thing that comes to mind is if you really are into details, you can do the three balloon push through for the wider body, 
And for the tail, you might be able to use something like um, a pipe cleaner. For example, there are some balloon artists that use pipe cleaners. Uh, I think they sell them in craft stores. They're those fuzzy, uh, wire-filled um, uh, craft uh, project, uh, craft material that uh, you could use and, and actually use the wire to make a small curly tail. And you would, uh, of course, remove this balloon tail that you've made here. But this is pretty much what I hand out to the kids. And they're always really happy because the pig has a very cute pig face. So were you able to make your pig balloon animal? I hope so. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.